Yes, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be diagonalizing this laptop. This is an HP stream. So I have got a charger here. And when you plug in, you can see it shows the red light. And when you press the power button, you can see that the part of the power button light lights up. And the screen also lights up. However, after some time, it goes off and never comes back. And when it goes off, the charging leg starts flickering. So you can see the LED light keeps on flickering, goes off and on. So when it does this error, even if you turn it on, it will not turn on. You can see however much I press it, it will not turn on. So let's open it up and see if we can diagonalize and fix this issue. So, with such a problem, the first suspect I would suspect is usually the CMOS. So, let me take off the battery and then remove this CMOS battery. So, then I'll have to connect these two pins for some few seconds so that I can reset all the static current inside this motherboard. Okay, that's enough. So let me try to turn on. Power light turn, lights up. However, I don't see anything on the display. Let me try to wait. Some of them, when you reset the CMOS, they usually take Sometime to display on the screen. Yes, you can see how this display. So warning, the foreign configuration change was requested for this computer. TPM morning clear the TPM erases information stored on the TPM. You will lose all the keys and the access to data encrypted by these keys. Let me first turn it off. Then you connect the keyboard and press F1 or F2 and see what happens. So let me turn it on again. So let me press F1. So we shall have to go into boot, boot mode. So it is trying to repair, I think it's trying to repair our operating system. Let's wait and see.
you can see right now it turns on well. So resetting the bias has fixed this problem. Let me end this video here and I'm going to do the rest of camera but I believe this laptop has been fixed. So if you have any issue with your laptop that uh, does any misbehaviors, most times don't go any further without resetting the BIOS. Most of the laptops have got issues with their BIOS and resetting most times fixes those problems. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe. Until then, I hope to see you in the next video.